everybody Boston Trucker here in White Lining today it is Mon uh, Sunday January 24 2021 local time 802 a.m. it's a good morning greetings getting ready to start out our day and our week um, getting ready to pick up our load which is right here on the yard picks up right here at the yard going to Chicopee Massachusetts um, temperature of truck says 29 degrees it's been sitting here so let's make sure uh, yeah 25 degrees dang that's cold that's cold for this area <laughs> yeah anyways let's get ready to start our day now let me explain the uh how they like you to log in here they like you to go on duty until you're hooked up and then do the pre-trip before you log in the pre-trip to make sure you'll find anything and if you do you know they can fix it while it's here and stuff but I don't think the guy is here today but still they still want you to do it that way just, just in case those of you that like to judge how I log my stuff that's the way I'm told to do it and that's how it boot Our trailer's right here, uh, it's on the wall. So let's go get it. Happy Sunday, hope everybody has a wonderful day. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Whatever y'all do, hope it was safe and not crazy. Mine was pretty good. Yeah, I started out now and uh, I realized that uh, I didn't really need to start that early. I and mean, the lows pick it up out of here. They told me as long as it's picked up on Sunday morning, so. Although I woke up at 4 in the morning, I still had to finish packing up, uh, finish, get the rest of my laundry and leave, and I was eating breakfast packing up the truck <laughs> I would like to get those for white lightning there the little love my covers that's our trailer right here it's got a lock on it don't it I'm gonna have to go up there and get the lock uh, unless they put it in here Yeah, that's why they had that on there. Let me hook this up for y'all and then uh, I'm gonna have to walk down there and get the lock. Let's go this way a little bit. I'm gonna have to drop the airbags because I got the uh, fifth wheel greased up. Grab the bills, but I guess I forgot to get the key for the lock. Why they put a lock? Because I already explained the type of load this is on the live stream on Friday, so.
It's a newer one. Yeah, yeah. I think it's on there now. Uh. Let me hook it up. Then I'll come back and do everything else for y'all. I gotta walk up to the office and get the key. Now that's how you hook up a truck and a trailer. Nice and smooth. Try to do that. I mean, don't try to hook up hard because that damages, eventually it'll damage the uh, kingpin and such. There we go. I'm gonna leave this on. All right, I'll be right back, okay? Hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> Gotta get the key, I got the key right there. I right, walk all the way up there. Like I said, I grabbed the bills and uh, the only thing I didn't get was the key. And they put a lock on these loaded trailers. The special loaded trailers. If Mr. Wayne said I scared him because uh, he didn't already drive my bills on Friday. Friday when I get, got in, uh, since the load picked up out of here, they keep the bills. I went ahead and grabbed it. I would already have them. Mr. Wayne said I almost <laughs> scared him because uh, he didn't think I already grabbed it. So in case he needed it too, I like, if you need my bills, I keep the tip board up there and I'll go home. traveling in let it start circulating the trailer make sure we're hooked yeah we're hooked let's give it a few minutes Is this one of the newer ones? This way. There it goes. It's a chilly morning. At least I got my exercise in this morning. Not the type of weather to do that though, but yeah. At least I exercised the biscuit I ate this morning. Works out, I guess. I'm gonna pull it up there and then I'll do my preacher because I still gotta put the heavy duty lock and stuff. And take that back inside. Oh yeah. If the camera gets too far from the app, it'll disconnect. Kind of like what Larry showed y'all.
spinning. When you're in a cold weather like this, any of the trailers, pull, make sure the tires are spinning. Make sure you don't have no brakes stuck. Go forward, backward a little bit. See them spinning. Let's roll. Not yet, I gotta pull up there and do my pre-trip and uh, pull out. Instead of going that way, we're gonna make a left and then make a right, left, because the interstate's right over here and we're going that way. Um, I know y'all said to bypass Bronx and all that, but this loads delivers in the morning and the fastest way to get to where I'm going is going through that way, so therefore I'm gonna go that way. If this load was to deliver Tuesday or whatever, then yeah, I'll go around, but. 60 is right over there, the KW I drove 184, straight back there. Right behind 167, right back that way. Uncle's is right there, 206. That's my uncle's truck, sign truck. This is a uh, 2021 KW T680. Brand new. There's an old one that's right here somewhere. Right there, 157. That's his old one right there. That one is a 2019 or 2018. All right, let me get situated and we'll see you guys on uh, over here, okay? Thank you. See y'all later. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Bossman Trucker here in White Lightning. Today is Sunday, January 24th, 2021. Local time of uh, 9 11 a.m. So, good morning, greetings. Current located coming into the beautiful city of. Durham, North Carolina. We're in Durham. Yes, we're getting ready to journey on to Massachusetts. Uh, temperature of 32 degrees up this way. Like it's a tad bit warmer this way than it is back there in Mebbin. <laughs> That's cold there, that this way, man. Got the 20s. I remember one year it got real cold. That was back in 2016. Uh, I believe it got to the teens and the single digits this way and boy that was crazy. <laughs> it usually doesn't get that cold this way. Usually about right there the 30s, mid 30s, lower 30s. Well, I'm doing pretty good. Once again, happy Sunday. Uh, we got picked up this load right out of the yard at our warehouse there. And it's headed towards uh, Shikopee, Massachusetts. Now, the way, I, like I said, uh, I'm gonna grab is I'm gonna, we're gonna have to man up and go through uh, Bronx because. Uh, this load delivers in the morning because if I was to deliver it Tuesday, whatever, then yeah, I would go around, but we need to get this up there, so.
So that is the plans. I appreciate those that were suggesting me to go around on Friday and all that, but. So welcome to Durham, North Carolina, everybody. The way we're going to be going is, uh, <laughs> Stay on 85 here until we meet up with 95 towards southern side of Virginia, Richmond area, and then uh, we go through, uh, I think we're going to be grabbing what, 495 on that Tyson Corner, Baltimore, New Jer uh, Delaware, New Jersey, and New York, Connecticut, and then into Mass. As far as fuel wise, uh, we're probably not going to grab fuel until somewhere in Maryland. I would imagine, what is that, uh, Elkton or right around that area. Before we get across the bridge, we'll gra go ahead and grab fuel. The rule is when you pick up these type of loads, you got to drive at least 200 miles from the starting point. Before you stop for anything, that'll be way, be way more than 200. So, those of you that join me on the live stream, thank you very much on Friday. Uh, sorry, I didn't sound any energetic. I was wore out <laughs> from all the uh, running back and forth and stuff. You know. But, uh, somebody's off the ditch. Yeah. Well, they got those pulled over, but they got one in the ditch over there. Maybe somebody got too happy and, yeah, phew. <laughs> Yeah, I was wore out from all the back and forth and stuff, and that's what happens when I get home and my energy, like, starts to go like, wah. <laughs> yeah. True thing, I mean, as soon as I got done with y'all, you know, I laid back on the couch and <laughs> passed out. <laughs> yeah. Woke up about 2 in the morning and still realized I was still on the couch. I'm like, uh-oh. Time to go finish it off, right? <laughs> I think one of y'all asked me, which one do I like better, uh, over the road or local? Uh, to be honest, over the road is a lot more easier to do because local, you got to stay on top of those loads and get them there efficiently as you can because uh, like I explained on Friday that uh, we when, when I pick up in uh, Winston-Salem no when I deliver to Winston-Salem no no when I pick up in Wilmington at that net place where they have those cars in front of the docks uh, we pick up there and deliver it straight to Winston Salem, where I did the uh, play the yard jockey thing. Uh, deliver it there. What happens with that load is uh, that runs. I have a five stop with that, so you pick up there at that net logistics in Wilmington and deliver in Wilmington, Winston Salem. Reload out of Winston, and then if Mevin ships out, pick up in Mevin, the place we picked up last Sunday. Um, to go back to where we delivered last Sunday at that Corning, right when Wilmington, right when you get into Wilmington. Uh, but anyway, the load that we pick up at Net that goes to Winston Salem, that goes to another local company that delivers, finished that delivery in Hickory, North Carolina, I think. 
because they're from that way I believe and so therefore he's got four stops to do too so he's got to stay on top of his stuff so I he likes for us to get him there by uh, lunch I think around there that's why they had that much time to sit there record past Sunday Monday I gotta stay on top of that stuff Friday was different because uh, Mevin didn't ship out, so it helped out. The way it works with that load is, like I said, you know, you pick up out of net logistics on Tuesday, Wednesday, to deliver in Winston Salem, reload out of uh, there, Winston Salem, pick up in Mevin, then you deliver in Corning and right coming into Wilmington, and then you drop at the uh, final, ready to do it again. When they do the Midland to Winston-Salem, uh, that's on Monday and Thursday. So to be honest, yeah, I really like the over the road more. <laughs> Although it's not that bad of a run, you still get your decent amount of miles. Now when you do local through LD Rogers, I believe it's still pay per mile. One of you asked me if I was getting paid by the hour, no. that I'm doing pretty good. I had a wonderful time at home. Uh, yesterday all I did is get groceries for the truck here and uh, uh, got other errands done and dinner went back home and done what I need to do and went to bed <laughs> woke up about four in the morning shower get ready and uh, finished packing and uh, then get breakfast and get in here and load the truck up and stuff get it ready <laughs> This here's the town of Creedmoor, Butner area. Uh, Falls Lake is what this is called. We've been through this way a lot of times when I come from northeast this way, it's the way I come in. Now we're doing the opposite. <laughs> Ooh, 70 miles an hour, that means I can go 72. If I can, because it depends how much they going. Yeah, that van's going 66. Yeah. yeah, the nice thing about the adaptive cruise control on my truck is whatever speed the vehicle goes in front of you, it goes it. If it's going more than where you have it at, 
then it'll go where you have it at, but otherwise it'll go whatever speed they're going until you, they either exit or you pass them, whatever, you know. When you have it set on that, it drives itself, <laughs> basically. Uh, if they slow down, it'll slow down, and if they pick the speed back up, it'll go... Uh, Pick yourself back up if they're not stopped, you know. The only time it'll hit the brakes if someone really cuts it off or something, but if it was the 680, that that one kind of sucks. If they stop slow down, it'll hit the brakes anyways. Like, yeah, very uncomfortable. <laughs> that I had a good time at home it was just pretty good rested pretty well now we're back at it getting ready to start out our week uh they did already send the next pre-plan we picking up at that place in Port Reedy New Jersey come back towards uh Lincolnton North Carolina I believe we pick that up tomorrow delivery for Tuesday and those two places are the uh dropping hook so be ready to see that stuff again. I believe this time it'll be during the day, so. Remember last time we picked up at Port Radio was nighttime. Again, with the roll of my videos, the format, the way I'm doing it now is I record once a week when we're doing over the road now. Um, so therefore, this does kick off the once a week recordings. Unless I go somewhere new next week, then I may come on for that. Just that, you know. Just, that's just the way I like to do it. Same thing goes with uh, live streams that we done once a week. Not every weekend like we used to do them. Again, that's just my preference, the way I like to do them now.
trying to get in front of this ball, bro. I'm trying to. <laughs> I think we can. I think we can. Again, White Lightning is a 2019 uh, Freightliner Cascadia with 186,000 miles. It has the auto shift. So far, very comfortable truck. It had a few hiccups. I mean, a leaky windshield with, due to a seam on the roof, but that got fixed. This is my assigned truck. I think one of you got confused that I was in a newer truck or something though. <laughs> no. I was in it while White Lightning was down. I mean, it was offered to me, but I didn't want to give up White Lightning just yet. <laughs> Although that 680 wasn't that bad and stuff, but I like my Freightliner. I'm gonna let y'all go. Just wanna say thank y'all for watching, and we'll see you guys up in uh, Richmond, Virginia area. So I wanna say thank y'all very much, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys later. All right. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. One more time before I go, uh, again, these videos come out and get put together when I'm done with my day. That's when I had the most time to uh, uh, make them and put them together and upload them. So we'll talk more about that on the next clip. All right. Thank you all very much. See you all later.